Now that we have the base completed, we're going to go ahead and make a top. And we're going to make it with a little thing here so you can hook it onto your keychain and have it with you to show off to other people that you can design stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go to a new part file, 2D sketch. You're still going to pick that XZ plane as your base. And we're going to make this the same size as your base. So this is going to be 2.28 by 2.28. Okay. We're going to offset that. Let's use our offset tool here. And that is going to go in 0.185. Let's go ahead and extrude that a distance of 0 0.05. And then we're going to make a lip so this will attach onto your uh, base. So we're going to project the geometry between the two squares. We're going to use our offset tool again. And this time we're going to offset by 0 0.0775. And extrude that out to be 0 0.12. Now this may seem counterintuitive because by the numbers this is not going to be an interference fit. It would be a clearance fit. But when plastic uh, melts and it goes through the 3D printing process, you're going to have expansion that occurs. And uh, that means that these parts will actually have a friction fit. If we went too close, it'd be too difficult to actually get that. So now we're going to look at the other side of the part. This is done. This is our entire lid. We're just going to add one more part to this side with the flat side, not the side with the lip. We're going to project our geometry here. And this is where we're going to make our keychain. So I'm just going to go off in space here and make a circle that has a 0.3 diameter, another circle inside of it that's 0.18, and then we're going to make a construction line from the center of that out. So make that construction. Um, it wouldn't hurt to make that tangent to it. So use your tangent constraint. And then we're going to dimension down to that line and say that that number, the way, oh, distance away from the edge is 0.125. And that the distance from, I, I'm sorry, let's make that 0.126. And the distance from this edge to the center will be 0.125. All right, we're going to go ahead and extrude that. I'm going to click the inside of the circle. If you rotate this part around, I'm going to say that I want to extrude it distance to the top of this surface. Make sure that's adding material by clicking this button here. And now we're going to reinforce it, because right now it's really weak. So we're going to go here to fill it. We're going to click that edge. We're going to click on this inside edge. We're going to click on this edge. And that'll add a lot of reinforcing plastic to make that a much stronger joint. And that is the entire lid. Now we just have an assembly. 